Hey everyone, Tio here. Today I'm reviewing the KZK75 Pro, which is a gasket mounted 75% wireless mechanical keyboard. First of all, disclaimer this is a review unit provided by the company. In this video, I'll just present to you my findings so that you can decide whether or not this is worth the money. The retail price for this keyboard is US $119, and at the time of this review, there is a $30 coupon on Amazon USA, so you can actually get this at $89. US and if the promotion is over, you can use my 10% coupon code, which you can find in the video description below. Let me give you the bottom line up front. This is a beautiful keyboard with solid build quality. The typing experience is very satisfying. You can connect this keyboard to three Bluetooth devices or you can use the 2.4 GHz connection with the USB-A receiver. You can switch between Mac and Windows keyboard layout. The battery life is about 200 hours if you do not use the backlight or the RGB lighting effects. This keyboard is available in several color themes or design and this particular one is called Arcade Games with the white and dark gray keys, red, yellow, blue and green. The noise from the keys is loud but it's not that loud so this keyboard is still very suitable for use in an office environment with other people around. I don't actually have many bad things to say about this keyboard. I mean, it looks good, it works well, and the pricing is quite reasonable. And now on to the full review. Let's take a look at the items included inside the box. So that's the user manual, and it says here there is 12 months warranty. And this user manual has a list of useful keyboard shortcuts for the keyboard. There are four extra switches. These are moment linear switches, and these are factory pre -loop. So this is buttery smooth. The keyboard is hot swappable with three and five pin switches. This is a two-in-one keycap puller and switch puller. This is a two meter long USB-C to USB-C and USB-A charging cable. Let's look at the design, which looks beautiful to me. And this has that retro look. When I took the keyboard out for the first time and saw this area here where the ports are, I actually thought this was a VGA port, but obviously it's not. If you want to use a wired connection, you can connect this port to your computer, or you can connect this to a power source to charge the keyboard. And here we have a USB-C and this is USB-A. If this keyboard is connected to a computer with a cable, you can use these two ports to transfer files, but the transfer speed is just USB 2. There are seven designs available for this keyboard. This color theme is called Arcade Games. There is also Time Machine Green, Night Gray, Lemon Green, Moose Cake, Rhine River, Sakura Pink. The build quality is quite solid even though everything is made with plastic. The weight is 1 kg and 90 grams. This is the back with four big pieces of rubber that have good grip on the table. That's the storage area for the 2.4 gigahertz USB-A receiver. And this will snap into the slot here with magnets. That's the fold-out feet with two adjustable height and there is the rubber at the bottom as well. This keyboard isn't exactly low profile, but I don't think a wrist rest is needed. So let me just fold out the shorter feet. You can actually use your finger to feel the feet behind. So this is the shorter feet. And let me fold out the higher feet. And this is how it looks. Now the surface texture is matte and you get the matte textured surface on the back as well and also on the top. The keys are matte textured as well and you can see here that this keyboard is compatible with Windows and Mac OS. To switch between the Windows and Mac OS keyboard layout, you can press the function key together with A or with S and you can see all the keys are labeled. The shortcuts for the function keys are also labeled, not on the top, but in front. So those are the keyboard shortcuts for the function keys. 
these are for the media control and we have volume control that's the screen lock and here we have a switch this lets you switch between different connections from 2.4 gigahertz to bluetooth to powering off this keyboard can be paired with three bluetooth devices and you can switch between the bluetooth devices using keyboard shortcuts we have status lights at the top here for the power the scroll lock wind lock caps lock and we have the keyzy logo here and the battery life indicator battery capacity is 3750 hours, and that's rated for 200 hours of battery life without the use of backlights the keyboard layout is pretty standard for a 75% keyboard with 82 keys we have control, win and alternate on this left side alternate function and control on the right side and if you switch to the mac os mode this will be control option command command control and we have shift home and pitch up pitch down this keyboard is gasket mounted and there is dampening foam inside the keyboard somewhere to sort of dampen the sound the typing sound is loud but it's not that loud is not considered noisy so this is still good for use in an office environment with other people around oh notice the double layer here the keycaps are made with durable pbt and the tactile typing experience is very satisfying right let's hear how the keyboard sounds Let's look at the lighting effects. By the way, the lights do not go through the letters. So to switch between the different lighting effects, you can press function slash and to adjust the brightness or the speed of the effect, you can press function with the arrow keys. And the lighting effects do look really good. If I counted correctly, there are 16 effects you can choose from. Of course, if you are going to use RGB lighting, this will affect battery life. The last thing I want to talk about is the boring stuff. It's the software. This keyboard software is only available for Windows and not for Mac OS. This keyboard software is not required for use with the keyboard. So this software is really for those who want to create or customize their own keyboard shortcuts, function key shortcuts, create user profiles, or create their own lighting effects facts or create macros all right to conclude i don't actually have any bad things to say about this keyboard except um, if you are someone who needs to use the number pad then the 75 percent keyboard layout is not going to work for you because there is no number pad so that's the limitation but it's not a downside so is this keyboard worth the money i would say yes because it looks good it works well and the pricing is reasonable so if you have the intention to get this keyboard you can check out the purchase links that i have for you in the video description below i hope this review is useful see you guys again bye